Hello everyone and welcome back to Sinners. So before we start working into the DLC, it's been a minute since we've done this. Um, I just want to see how well we can do in it now. Never hurts to try. Plus, there's a very decent chance we'll end up getting what we need. Oh, that's right, I switched that. That's going to throw me off real bad. Okay, you go ahead and die. Oh, hello, Axe Guy. Do I use Nestus now or do I wait? I really would love to be able to get to a point where I can upgrade this. I really want it. Ooh, this will be fun. Oh, hey, let's use Nestus now. Oh, I got grabbed. Bad times. Get off me. Jeez, guys. What the? You lived. Highly unexpected. Oh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I also dislike that I'm not getting anything from this. I understand why. Also, Crystal Magic Weapon ended a lot sooner than I would have hoped. So... We will have to bear that in mind. It doesn't last terribly long. Oh, this will be good. The big guys are here. Jeez. Oh, I got backstabbed. Nice. I don't know if topping off there was a good idea. Demonic Surge.
Look at these nerds coming after me. Whoop. Haha. <laughs> you tried. Oh, hello. Let me out of this. Very not cool. Okay, we did get a crystal fragment. I need to rely on my magic a bit more, I think. So that was our fourth one. Fourth round. Yeah, I'm starting to realize crystal magic weapons not being overly useful for me. Cathedral Protectors. Ah, yes, this one. This is unpleasant. Oh. oh, thralls, the biggest trolls. That's bad for my health. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's tough. We've got our final upgrade for our uh, thing though. So that's nice. We need to rely on our magic more. And crystal magic weapons just not doing it. I'm thinking taking that off and putting Soul Spear on would be the right call. Jailers of the Damned. Oh, no, no, no. This is going to be bad. Oh, that's not good. Okay, my health is in a bad spot because of them. Um, I'm very concerned about this next round now. <laughs> it would be... Oh, good. Good, good. Let's just top off. I've lost track of what round we're on, to be perfectly honest.
rock and roll? That sounds like bone wheels, potentially. Oh, it's the little guys. Good. Maybe not good, actually. Although, this is pretty decent, actually. So long as one doesn't spawn right behind me, which I'm sure one will here eventually. Um. They are... they take their time to waddle on over. It's fine. Ooh. Whoop. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hello, lots of miscellaneous things. Um... <laughs> okay, we'll just jump up to 22 on that. That's fine by me. When we die here in a minute, because it's going to happen, um, I'm going to have to look up exactly what phase that was that gives us all of those things. Irithyll Slaves. I might be able to do this. Oh, jeez. What the? Oh, there has to be a, uh... Where the... Yep, called it. That is problematic. Oh, I didn't see it. Jeez. That's unfortunate. Okay. To the Google. Um, cinders. What's this called again? Trial of Perseverance. What exactly are your phases and what are your rewards? The page trial of perseverance you want to access does not exist. Thanks, Wikidot. It 
in there as the trials. Come on. Why would you do that? So, which wave gives us... So wave six could give... Okay, so there's the Trial of Perseverance and Trial of Forti Fortitude. I don't know what the Trial of Fortitude is. So, the Trial of Fortitude works the same way as the Trial of Perseverance, but the boss HP bar, the enemy's health, and their damage are doubled. Oh, boy. Um, Primordial Titanite is rewarded only in the Trial of Fortitude. Aww. Oh. So, how do we access the Trial of Fortitude? The game is not, or the wiki is not telling me. Is that like a New Game Plus type thing where it's only accessible that way? Tell me more. Mm. Well, regardless, um, we made it to wave six or wave seven. Although that doesn't make much sense, because it says that the Trial of Perseverance reward for that is one Crystal Fragment, or one Fire Seed, or one Holy Fragment, or one Abyssal Fragment. And we got overloaded with things. So... I don't know. <laughs> it's basically what I'm trying to say. I've got no clue. Um, thing that I do know is that this is being basically useless. Farm Dart, on the other hand, actually might be useful. Oh, no, 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 no. Crystal Hail. That's what we should go for. That is a thing in this, right? Yeah. But we don't have the soul. Jeez. Ah. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop on in super fast. We're going to get our souls back because we have enough for a level. Um, I want to try something. We're just testing things out this time around. This one's, I guess, going to be sort of a one-off. Okay, we're going to do a little looking, we're going to use the wiki and do this now. Memories. Do 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 do. So the memories have unlimited uses. Using a memory will warp the player in front of the fog gate of the boss to be fought. Boss stats will remain the same as the first time they're defeated unless one or more of the Altar of Affliction Curses are used to empower them. The Altar of Affliction, that must be the one that's up top that I noticed, is a game mechanic that applies a series of effects to make the game more challenging. 
in exchange for boosting the amount of souls dropped by enemies and enabling the drop of Primordial Titanite from bosses, Hey. Okay. So... Let's actually try that. I don't know what the difference here is, but we're gonna buy one of each. And it's just Bort, so I'm not too concerned about it. The question is, do we get souls? Do we get another copy of the boss soul? And will I be able to, you know... Okay, so the boss is behind a fog gate like normal. That's a good sign. And you're dead. So do I get anything from doing that a second time? I just straight up got a primord, but I mean, okay. I don't have a challenge active, but I mean, okay. Um, this changes everything. Please hold, guys. Please hold. Uh, back to the shrine. How many things do I need and... What other bosses will I need to fight? Very exciting. Okay, let's check this out. So I'll need three primordial shards. So we can beat Vort two more times, and that'll get us one. Um, but that wouldn't be fun. What other bosses drop primordial shards? Let's find out. Go to the altar of affliction. I'm assuming it just would, you know. I, I don't know why it dropped without me having to do anything. I'm not going to question it. I'll take it for what it's worth. So I'm assuming this list, Primordial Titan that drops, would be all of them. Ah, Primordial Titan drops from Curses can be stacked with the no-hit challenge for an additional drop. So if we no-hit a boss, then it increases our odds of getting the drop with it, without, um... Interesting. Using shields to block invalidates the attempt... Um, build up from uh, uh, status effects like Vort's Frost or Soul of Cinder's Poison Cloud will invalidate the attempt. Memories can be used to reset the challenge whether the previous attempt was successful or not. Nice. Okay. So, safe to assume that the pattern is going to be three primordial shards, three large primordial shards, um, a primordial fragment, primordial chunk. It, there's there's different things. So the big takeaway from this is as long as we no hit a boss, it's not reusable. You lie to me, game. Did it just use all four of them?
No, I did not. Okay. I'm only slightly crazy. Don't worry about it. So as long as we no-hit Vort, then we'll get what we want. Considering we can, you know, four-shot it. Three if we do that. You love to see it. I am very happy with this discovery. I am so incredibly happy. We, we can upgrade the staff. What are we doing? Reinforce the staff. Let's get even more damage on this thing. We probably don't even need to two-hand. We probably don't even need to apply the buff. I'm going to anyway, just because I'm curious about my damage output. Uh... That was odd. Random crystal fragment. Why did I not get my thing? Interesting. Maybe it's only a percentage chance. That's a possibility. Maybe it's because we didn't reload the whole area with going to Firelink? Not a clue, we got three, that's all I care about. I have to say, I like this mechanic. I wish I'd messed with it a little bit more earlier on. That said, let's get started on upgrading our weapon beyond where it's supposed to be. And do it with the staff and the spell buff keeps going up as well. That's a little absurd. We can keep doing it with the bow and it will add a B scale. It'll continue the B scaling on our intelligence. Interesting. Well, first order of business is to uh, keep doing this, because as scaling and strength is going to just keep getting better. So now we need large primordial shards, so we'll need to completely flawless boss that will drop us those. So, according to the no-hit challenge page... We can do the Crystal Sage, Deacons of the Deep, or Corrupted Gundir. Um... I'm thinking Deacons? Although Corrupted Gundir might be the right call, because we could just stand back and shoot Soul Spears at him. It's hard to say. My thought with Deacons is that my spells will pierce. But I think Gundir is the safer bet. Ashen one. That's a tough call. The nice thing is with this, we do get more boss souls. So I can use it to get 
the uh, Crystal Hell. So we'll try it with Gundir here. It does so much. <laughs> I went so far. Oh, that failed. Horrendously, oh my. Yeah, deacons were the right call. Take me away. Not the right option. <laughs> I forgot how beefy they made him. I forgot about that. That would be my bad. Take me to the deacons. As a matter of fact... Let's put that on as well. And we will go ahead and do this with the Deacon super quick. Just to see. Just to see. You're so noisy, gal. Why are you like this? A bit of a run over to them. Might be worthwhile to get more Ashenestus as well, just to readjust my balance there. Still, very excited to see how this will play out. Oh, there goes that. Oh, jeez. I forgot that you guys were in here. Well, that makes things difficult. So we will probably want to mess with the actual challenges, if that's the case. So, I'll read up on what the challenges are and everything, um, and mess with them moving forward. As far as how we use them, I'm assuming this is this is it. So we'll worry about it next time. Yeah, Altar of Affliction. That's what the wiki called it. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. A bit of a one-off, I know. We'll mess with this. We'll make our way to the DLC. It'll all happen eventually. Thank you all for stopping by. See you guys next time.